This is my latest desk setup, and we're taking some of the visual cues from the previous two desk setup videos that I've uploaded, but we're cleaning it up even further for a really modern and elegant look. Now, if you've seen my previous desk setup videos, then you'll know that I like to keep things on a fairly tight budget. And so if you're someone who's perhaps been working a little more from home lately, and you're looking to create a nicer working space for your home office, then this desk setup has your name written all over it. Let's dive in. We'll start where we always start for these videos, the desk. So I've finally gotten rid of my old 2.4 meter Eck back and worktop from Ikea, which to be frank, was just getting a little tiresome to constantly move in and out of the various office spaces that I've been working in. And instead, we've got this more reasonably sized 1.8 meter worktop also from Ikea, but this one is called the Saljan. Who knows if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it has this really nice oak effect across it, which makes for a really visually pleasing look. Now this worktop is still sitting atop two Adil's legs on one side and an Alex drawer unit on the left. So those drawers and legs are kind of what established this white and wood color theme that we've got for this desk set up with some black accents throughout. And I really like the look of this color combo. And so I've chosen all of my other accessories accordingly. Starting with the chair, this is the Mille Berger from Ikea. Now I kind of just went to Ikea and looked at all of the different office chairs available. And I was definitely tempted by some of the higher priced options, but the two main reasons that I went with this one is that A, it's ergonomically sound and B, it was way more friendly to my wallet, which is always a top priority for me. From there, we move to everything on the desk itself. For peripherals, I've actually just started using the Logitech Craft wireless keyboard, which is a beautifully designed backlit keyboard that is geared towards creatives. Aside from looking incredibly sleek on the desk, it is a full-size keyboard, which I find really useful for video editing. And what's also neat is that it's cross compatible, meaning you can use it with both Mac and PC, thanks to the carefully labeled keys down the bottom. What's also really nice is that it has this creative input dial on the top here that adapts to whatever app you might be using, which means you can have really fine control over particular functions in photo editing apps, for example, plus a heap more. And overall, it really is an excellent keyboard that suits this setup beautifully. Next to that, I've just switched over to using the MX Master 3 mouse, also from Logitech. And this mouse needs very little introduction, but it's one of the best options available given how nicely it's designed in terms of its ergonomics, but also in regards to how customizable it is with all of those mappable buttons. The main scroll wheel is super precise and the click is incredibly tactile, but that side scroll wheel is just a downright boss for working with NVIDIA timelines. I got mine in black to match the aesthetics of the keyboard, and this combo is seriously killer. I'm huge on using as many wireless peripherals as I can to cut down on cables, and I've always found the products from Logitech to work really well in my workflow, and so if you're in the market for a new mouse or a new keyboard, then these two options are amazing. The speakers I'm using are still the ever faithful Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers, which I actually showcased in my original desk setup video way back in 2016. So if you're looking for long lasting speakers, I can highly recommend these. And honestly, the size, look and sound of these speakers really suit my workflow. And I don't really plan on upgrading them anytime soon. Now I've also got my Pixel Stand wireless charger to the left of the monitor there, which again fits into the white aesthetic. But then aside from some fake plants on either side of the desk, the last accessory is this neat desk lamp called the Magia by Xiaomi. I picked up this desk lamp a little while ago now, but what's great is that aside from the really clean design, it's also dimmable and bicolor, which means I can adjust it to fit the mood really easily. Aside from that, there are clearly two other really big components of this desk setup that I'm yet to talk about. Firstly, that PC. Now, a huge shout out to Nick and Claire from Gear Seekers, who are the team behind this PC build. I actually had some issues with my previous PC and they came in clutch to save the day and rebuild it. They actually made an entire video on this PC build, so I'll leave a link to that below. And then finally, we have this incredibly sleek, ultra wide 5K monitor from LG. For the longest time, I've always been a single monitor guy. And after dabbling with an ultra wide monitor in my previous desk setup, I became hooked. Seriously, once you go ultra wide, it is really hard to go back. So this model is actually a couple of years old now. It's the 34WK95UW and as much of a mouthful as that is to say, I've been using it for the past few weeks and I've got to say, I really like this monitor. The design is super sleek and minimal, thin bezels all the way around. And what I really like about this monitor is that it's flat. Now, if you know me, then you'll know that I don't really like curved 
displays. Now, normally this just relates to smartphones, but apparently it also relates to monitors. And so believe it or not, this really limits the selection down if you're looking for a high res ultra wide monitor. Speaking of high res, this 34 inch LG monitor has a super crispy 5120 by 2160 ultra wide resolution. It is a nano IPS panel that has HDR10 support and it covers over 98% of the DCI-P3 color space. And this makes it an incredibly color accurate monitor, which is what you want for video editing and content creation in general. Aside from that, the joystick and menu system is really easy to use and intuitive and the port selection is great. In fact, it even has a Thunderbolt 3 port that I can use to hook up to my 13 inch MacBook Pro and charge it at the same time, or I can just plug it directly into my Pixel stand for fast wireless charging. But aside from a whole host of other great features, I really just do love the design of this monitor and how it looks on my desk. Now really quickly, taking a look at my cable management, I've used a fairly inexpensive cable runway cut into thirds to run the cables from my monitor and desk lamp into a power strip that is also mounted to the underside of the desk using a couple of 3M double-sided strips. Then any leftover cable runs down the back of the Alex drawer unit and into one of these cable management boxes from Ikea. As always, I still run a USB extension cable from the back of my PC to this SD card reader, and I've got that mounted to the underside of the worktop using a 3M strip as well. But that is it for my desk setup. Let me know your thoughts on this desk setup down in the comments below. I always enjoy hearing your perspective on what could be added or improved about my desk setups. So please have at it and let me know your thoughts. Also, if you haven't already seen it, I've just published chapter three of my course on creating cinematic technology videos. And this is the chapter that dives deep into the production process. So if you wanna start creating videos similar to what you can see on my channel, then make make sure you check out my course using the link down in the description below. As well as that, everything that I mentioned throughout the video has also been linked down in the description below. But aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.